I went with seven, Bob, and I already mentioned that Jeter in his first year on the ballot was an obvious one for me. I also had four holdovers in Walker, Schilling, Kent, and Wagner. The two names that I added this year, Todd Helton and Scott Rowland, dug into both of their candidacies and decided I wanted to check the box near them. You'll notice no check mark near Barry Bonds and Roger Clemens. I've talked about this year after year. I just think that the suspicion of steroid use is too obvious to ignore. I respect my colleagues who want to vote for both of these players. I covered both of them. Probably the best pitcher and the best player I ever covered. But I just think that if you're going to be that overt toward cheating, I think that there needs to be some penalty there and they don't get my vote. All right, I'm going to switch gears a little bit. Two questions for you. I look at that ballot. You only voted for seven. So I think we can probably agree it's not the strongest ballot that we've seen. Because of that, does Derek Jeter get 100% like Mariano did last year? And also Larry Walker, 10th year on the ballot. Is he going to get more consideration considering it's his last year? Let's start with the Jeter question. He should. Yeah. He should get 100%. We all know the answer to that. I'm not sure he's going to follow Mariano Rivera in getting the unanimous vote. I can't tell you who and I can't tell you why someone wouldn't vote for a guy who had almost 30 500 hits, five World Series titles, seven top 10 MVP finishes, and a great postseason record. But I just have a nagging suspicion that someone might not. Ken Griffey Jr. fell three yep. votes short of una un unanimity. <laughs> as far as Larry Walker goes, John, I have been voting for him for every year. I've been on the Larry Walker train. I'm going to poach some of these numbers from a column that uh, Tyler Kepner wrote for the New York Times. Only six players can match Walker in average OBP and slugging. That's Fox, Gehrig, Greenberg, Hornsby, Ruth, and Williams. His career road OPS, everybody wants to talk about Colorado. His career road OPS better than Brett, Griffey Jr., Reggie, and Willie Stargell. He, is a, he was a great all-around baseball player, and I'm surprised that it has taken until year 10 for him to potentially get the credit that he deserves. In the not Mr. Tibbs tracker on Twitter right now, he's got about 85%. You need above 75% to get in. When you and I talk about players that I competed against, I always say a Hall of Famer is a dominant player. Larry Walker was a dominant player. Not only what he did at the plate, high average, hit for power, a great right fielder who was a great base runner who can steal a bag. So when you're game planning against whether it was Colorado, Montreal, whoever he was playing with, you always knew where Larry Walker was, not only at the plate, but in the field and right field defensively. And another guy that I'm glad you voted for, Billy Wagner, as dominant as any relief pitcher I had ever competed against. Right. If you look at Billy Wagner's numbers, the criticism is going to be that he didn't pitch a lot in his major league career, just about 900 innings. But the things that he has worked Working in his favor, look at that opponent batting average, 187. Look at the K's per nine, 11.9 per nine innings. Those are the best in Major League history. When I look at a Hall of Famer, I want dominance, like you said. And it doesn't mean every player is going to have those dominant numbers. Some people do it for a longer period of time, and it's all-star uh, all games that they lock up, and you, you end up voting for them because of that. Wagner is a guy that I absolutely think he deserves more consideration and a higher voting percentage we just showed how he matched up with Hoffman yes Hoffman did it longer yes Hoffman had many more saves but Billy Wagner when he was in a game I mean you were not looking forward to no. facing this guy and to me if Hoffman's in there Wagner absolutely deserves strong consideration to be in there all right